Hello guys, the channel with no distinct name here. Well, I say that because I, uh, I'm never quite sure how to name my channel. Never quite sure what to do with the channel either. For now, I'll just be playing sandbox. And while initially I was considering playing Antarctica because that's, that was the result of the poll in Discord, I decided to push it for a little bit fur further and play Finland in the meanwhile. And while I'm at it, I guess I'll also talk about Finland in World War II. Yeah, that would be a nice addition. I, I haven't seen any World War II sandbox channel talk about the World War II history of the country they're playing. There's that. I wish there were more alliance settings. Nah. Sweden received financial support. <coughs> Wonderful! It's not as if we had so much, such a hard time doing it before. Alright, when playing Finland, take care so that your reserves are not overwhelmed and don't hold troops on the coastline. Unless you really have to. Or, well, in Helsinki, you don't leave troops here. But at some point, you'll have to leave troops here because they come from Estonia to attack you. For the first part, it's most important to defend here. Because for some stupid reason, they don't seem to advance from Leningrad to you. Comes as a good idea to just defend Joensu and, and Sortavala in the first stages. Was Helsinki the spot where reinforcements appear? Well, that, that's very good. Never hurts to have some extra troops. And uh, as much tempting as it is to just sit on the defense, doing some encirclements does not seem like that bad of an idea. Of course, there is something like that. Oh. Yeah, Finland gets a few upgrades, uh, which is great. They really need them. And they really do deserve them. In World War II, Finland was like... Like Greece, like a, a small country that punched way above its weight. But while Greece only had a small front line to fight, Finland had a, few, a huge front line. This game doesn't do it justice. This is just the southern part of Finland, but the battle was taken place on all of Finland, which was two or three times this width. Finland had to use its entire army, and it was not a mere volunteer army, it was a whole conscripted army just to hold the, to fill the front line. The Russians had a clear numerical advantage. And they still managed to do a good defense and a good encirclement. This is not good. This, these guys gotta dissipate somehow. Fuck. We cannot... Yeah. 
the only way for these guys to pass to not attack here is if they if we bait them with the navy that's mainly the only the only use you'll have for these four weak ships baiting the Russians to chase you The Finnish defense was <coughs> so good that well, the Russians thought they'll just overrun their defenses and warn their troops not to accidentally cross into Sweden. They expected the war to last something like two weeks, but in fact the Finns held out for more than three months. superiority to defeat these guys so perfect our navy is I get so rusty from not playing for a long time that I actively didn't see those bombers. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing as Finland. If you decide to fight Russia all of, all on your own, you don't have much of an advantage. Eventually they're gonna bring more troops than you can handle. What you have to do is to conquer Sweden and Norway as quickly as possible. <laughs> well, Norway is not really necessary, but it's good to have it in order, in order to defend your <coughs> territories better. Perfect, they just left their troops there, their, their planes. <coughs> Cheeky kids. Let's just do a spike. easy to conquer, you need at least a bit of numerical superiority, but you need to get enough troops for this theater too, so it takes a bit of skill to manage both fronts at the same time. Finland is not a beginner's country, but it's not as hard as the Baltic countries, so not that bad. Sweden joined the Allies. That is probably the first time I see them do this. Huh. 
we're gonna try to conquer Arhangelsk. This is the first objective of a Finland player if you want to defeat Russia. Otherwise you have no chance. Polish submarines. Well, our navy is gone. We must not allow anyone else to come to conquer an industrial region. Really, it pays off in the in the long term if you just deny them the capability to produce troops on the Swedish territory, saving yourself some headaches. The less troops you fight, the better. Going to, oh, they're not going to surrender, they haven't been defeated. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but in this game taking the industrial regions of a country is very important and doing it as fast as you can. Now what did uh, the Russian Air Force do? An airstrike on Ludvika, that's... Um, close up on not that bad, we can still advance. This is more... Of, I, I know I'm putting it in, in range of this fleet, but... It's more of a faint move. Maybe the AI will determine to put more troops into Leningrad and not attack our weak spots. We have plenty of undef undefended weak spots. Hmm. Normally I don't risk this much, but... That advancing right now is well dumb move on their part. They did. They did fortify that. As I said, an offensive and to that place does not seem very feasible. Okay, 
I might be getting a bit flaky, but now we got a retreat. Shorten the front line. Good! As I said it, I'll say it again. The purpose of fighter planes is to do this to bombers. One more, one more interception and he's done forever. Just... Why is there a soldier in Tampered? Oh, well, well the Latvians are in Lithuania. Interesting. Uh, oh. I don't like this situation very much. But it, they they are gonna retreat on our land island, but don't really have much of a choice, I gotta push, push forward. I don't know very much about the Lampians. They're gonna die next turn, so not a big problem. Let's put the gear. Alright, we'll destroy the Russian bombers this turn. Bye bye! Oh, they still exist, albeit with a very low level of organization. No problem, one more turn and they're gone. Forever! Still attempt. Look at that. Oh, Norway's. Not very flaky. I'm not gonna attack and waste divisions.
And they don't get the guts to attack when it doesn't go their way. their bombers. Nothing unexpected. There goes the Russian bombers. And there goes Sweden too. Rehabilitation. Not to be commissioned again. I'll attack again. It's been the longest I've seen Latvia so survive the Soviets. AI Latvia, that is. Now, should I make a navy or something? I don't really have the space for it. I'm gonna... Actually, I do. But what do I want to achieve with that maybe? Better to just up upgrade some things. And the air artillery, not worth it, not worth it, not worth it, no. nothing is worth it. And the ones that are good are too expensive. And we'll just get some reinforcement with these ones. Now this one seems like a good idea. on the planet, me. I forgot to, to move those jokes there. I'm starting to become very rusty in this game, maybe I should retire. I'm not even a beginner with two. It's just a stupid mistake. It's so easy to defend. Ah, well, why? Who is bombing us? Uh, right. Yes. If 
I attacked that place, they could have surrounded me and attacked me in a more efficient way. But this way, I'm trying to save. A maximum rate is Stockholm, so all I have to do is to get out of there. That's a bold attack, but they're gonna get defeated right now. see their air force anywhere around here which means we have a small window of opportunity gotta take our cocktails For some reason the Danes have not died. I don't have the time to defeat them, so they got that. The rush of the German navy is not weak at all.
have four more divisions. Where, where did they go? I guess that's pretty much it for today. Now you know what, I'm gonna push forward and reach our hangels. Too bad I didn't have some motorized in this army. <laughs> well, now I do. I now left Sweden undefended. Critical, def critical mistake on my part. And hey, maybe it's the time to finally start making a navy! And the navies are very expensive. Whatever. Weak navy is better than no navy. At least. Why am I not... That's actually surprising. For the life of mine I would have never expected the American AI to take Tripoli. And so quick. What in the bleeding hell? And they're still not done with Spain. Right now I think we're virtually invincible. But we do need to be careful because our troops are at low strength. Not in an ideal fighting condition. And... I guess this is all for today. See you all next time.